Hi, my name is Jeremy Brun and I've been woodworking for over 50 years. Wow! Now, in 1991, I wrote a book called Electric Woodwork. Now, this was actually one of my best books, but it didn't sell very well because it was very hefty and cost a lot to post. But this book was about power tool woodworking and offered a lot more. Um, it included a dozen or so innovative projects and an A to Z about power tool woodworking. Now I did all the illustrations by hand uh, with felt tip pens and all the photography using um, old fashioned film, uh, pre-digital. I think this book was not far off being the best book I wrote, not least because of its wealth and diversity of information, uh, even exploring electricity and the first power tools taken to the moon, but also in the diverse range of useful projects aimed at all levels of skill. It was a truly comprehensive book. Now, with the advent of modern technology, I'm hoping to relaunch this book as a series of enhanced digital publications. But in the meantime, I've picked out one of the projects from the book to show in this short video, and it uses my favourite tool, you guessed it, the router. And this project is so easy to make for the beginner with a router, uh, that probably the most difficult part of it is finding a really nice piece of timber, uh, even an offcut. Now this one is a variation of the original picture frame project and you can hang it on the wall and mount your partner. Uh, oh, maybe I should rephrase that. Uh, well here is a picture of my first sweetheart and live-in girlfriend. Oh, the foolishness of youth to let her go. And now I've made my bed, I have to lie in it. Oh, a little observation and tip. If you're using solid wood and the annual rings are long, as you can see here, the wood will have a tendency to slightly bow, and the golden rule is the annual rings try to straighten out, so you can tell which way the wood is likely to bow. Uh, this example, which must be over 10 years old, uh, hasn't actually bowed. Now this project is easy to make and all you need is a hot melt glue gun to secure the workpiece to begin to route out the wood freehand. Now freehand routing teaches you router control as the rule is always to make light cuts and all you need is a small router. You progressively cut the wood away. The outer profile can be shaped on a bandsaw and sanded afterwards. Now with this picture frame, I've simply glued the image behind, but you can route in a recess to take a sandwich of a piece of clear cellulose sheet, uh, the picture, and a thin piece of plywood as a backing piece, and glue gun a bead around it. You then finish the piece by sanding it and applying a little bit of oil or lacquer. Job done. Well, thanks for watching. If you like my slightly offbeat ideas, then please subscribe to my channel as I've got plenty more.